let's get into it. So now you have a book that's done for purpose of illustration. I'm using the interior of my book. Start your own indie publishing company. Everything you need to know. And you get the book done. It's all laid out. You kind of get an idea how to properly lay out a book. And, you know. And um, the main thing you need to know, obviously, is how many pages. Because that's the first thing we got to do to determine the spine. You know, the center of the document, the spine. So how you do that is you take the page numbers, the number of pages, times a factor, and it's point zero zero two five. There's more than one that they have um, in the Kindle Direct Publishing Guidelines, but I just use the largest one all the time. Point zero zero two five times one hundred and twelve pages equals. 0.28 inches, a little over a quarter of an inch. So that's the spine right there. So when you go into your um, Photoshop or Photoshop uh, compatible software, just go ahead and um, Add everything up. You know you got a six by nine book, so the nine part is easier. The height is gonna be nine point two five. All right, and you got the six inches for the front, six inches for the back, and you get the point two eight for the um spine. So and you need to add that quarter inch far as the bleed. So the total you will get is 12.53. So let's say you're setting it up now. I have this just already set up, but say new. You're going to set up your book cover. Go to inches. The width is going to be 12.53 inches. And the height is going to be 9.25 inches. So that give you that quarter of an inch bleed. And all it is is an eighth of an inch around the whole document. Now, you can make it a whole quarter of an inch around the whole doc document, but I don't find it necessary. And I find it um, easier for the printers to just, if you have just a quarter, an uh, eighth of an inch around the whole document, that equals the quarter of an inch. That's actually what they want. You can make the resolution. The default is 72, but you can make it 300. Uh, I'm going to make it into a white background with the, the one I'm going to show you. Is, um, it's a transparent background, but let's just make it white. There it goes. Okay. There's something wrong here. Let's try that again. <laughs> New document, inches, width is 12.53, and the height is 9.25, and we'll make it a white background, okay, there we go. All right, <clears throat> what you're going to do in uh, Photoshop is make guide bar, bar. So you can just take it right off of this. Just click on this ruler and slide it over. And you're going to go six and an eighth. Boom. You can always move it around if you miss it a little bit. Boom. There you go. Six and an eighth. And the width of the spine is about a quarter of an inch, but a little bit more. So you just go there. Boom. There you got it. That's your spine. That's um, where you're going to put the uh, title of the book if the book is uh, wide enough. Now, Kindle Direct Publishing, they only allow you to have words on the spine if it's a hundred over 100 pages. So you have to take that into account. If it's a book less than 100 pages, then you uh, won't have wording on your spine. So anyway, let's go on back to my sample there. 
We'll close this out. No. All right. Just go down the line, show you how I put this book together for that book. Okay, for purposes of illustration, we're just going to see how the layers came together to make the book cover. We have these guidelines here, as I showed you before, where you can snap it and, you know, mark the location and whatnot. It's already there. Um, you can see them here. I should have made this background white. You could see it better, but you can see it. So let's just go up the list here. Um, here goes the picture. If you notice this picture, it exceeds past this point here, but that's okay because for the next picture, it's the front cover right here. For the next picture I put in there, boom, there it goes. And it may not be exactly lined up right, but with the background, um, colors I used and everything, everything all blended in. And here goes some effects I used on the, um, you can see how that changed up right there. So I kind of like that better. And then, um, just keep on going down the list. There goes the author name. I'll put that in there. I'll do another video for us specifically how to actually put this together. I just want to show you real quick how this came together. Now, red background, you see it says red background, that's across the top, boom. And that line put in there. All right. Got your own indie publishing company. So you kind of see some of the um, updated book. See the spine. Boom, here it goes. The synopsis on the back of the book. Just trying to show you the elements of the book. Here goes the subtitle, everything you need to know. I should have had that on there. There goes the author's name, obviously. Okay, the publishing house logo. That's all on there. So the only thing I have to put on there is this everything you need to know right here. So boom, there it goes. And I'll do another video to show you how to do all this stuff more specifically. But here goes the elements of your book cover. You had the front page, you got the spine. You have the back page and the back page includes the synopsis and your publishing house logo towards the left hand side of the page for the uh kindle direct publishing or whoever else you use they're going to put the isbn barcode right here it's going to be a barcode right here on the um, bottom right area um and of course the artwork and it's pretty just straightforward just like that they're going to use this to make the whole book cover so it's not a separate front book cover like it is with an e-book or something like this. A whole cover shows the whole thing. Front, back, and center spine. So, um, review the information a little bit, especially the calculations, and you're on your way. Have all the information at your fingertips and get your copies of Start Your Own Indie Music Label, Everything You Need to Know, and start your own indie publishing company. Everything you need to know. Or really save and get discounted PDF copies. Just click on the link below.